This is Diana Kupfer reporting from JAX 2013 in Mainz. Um, with me is Benjamin, Benjamin KB. Um, he's open, open source evangelist at Sierra Wireless and also um, project lead of the Eclipse M2M projects, Koneki and Mihini. Welcome, Benjamin. Hi, Diana. Thanks for being here. Now, you delivered your first keynote um, at JAX last night. Um, was it your first keynote ever? It was. It was. It was Wha fun. What did what did it feel like? Actually, it w yeah, it was. It was nice to, f for the first time, to demo uh, um, in front of so, ma so many people the um, the project you you just mentioned and real tangible demos. So it, it was great to have, yeah, half an hour for to for talking about the project, to showing that they are actual stuff. Mm -hmm. That's great. And you were talking about um, open source and the Internet of Things. And you were briefly hint hinting at the difference between M2M and IoT, uh, the Internet of Things. Um, I always thought those terms were used synonymously. Can you clarify what the difference is? Yeah, there, there, are, there are synonyms mostly. M2M is a word that has been around uh, for, for, for a long time. It's really about connecting machines, like powerful, powerful machines and man managing them remotely. And what we see more and more is the Internet of Things, where you not only connect big uh, computers, but very small sensors. And we call the initiative at Eclipse M2M, uh, m2m.eclipse.org. But eventually, what we think is that if it's done right, M2M, if all the machines are connected, then you enable the Internet of Things, all the objects in your day-to-day -day life. You are able to, to access them, just like you access web pages in your day-to-day your, in your -day life. So what components specifically do you provide with your projects, Mihini and um, Koneki? So Can you just so put it in a nutshell? Yep. So the projects we deliver, so we do have PAHO as well under the initiative at Eclipse. So the idea is really to have all the building blocks for, for building Internet of Things uh, slash M2M solutions. That is an embedded framework for putting inside the, uh, inside the devices. This is Mihini. Mm -hmm. We provide also um, implementations of open source uh, communication protocols for communicating with the server, and, and this, is, this is in PAHO. And of course, we are Eclipse, and we are target targeting developers. So we want to have a nice IDE for M2M. And this is in th that we develop it in Koneki, all the plugins for doing development debugging and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And you've been using, um, in your projects at least, you've been using Lua, which is a very simple, easy to learn, high scripting language. Um, but um, and you said you, I think you just um, refer to it as Ruby on Rails for M2M in your technical session. But still, I have to ask you, um, what is the future of Java in this big M2M game? Yeah. So the the idea, the the rationale be behind this choice of Lua in the first place is that, as you said, it's it's really easy to learn. It's really easy to embed. So we thought it would be interesting to have that kind of scripting language for for developers who are. Well, actually, not all the time developers. They, uh, they, when people build machine-to-machine -machine solutions, they are good at automation, maybe. But they don't want to, to, to learn a, a specific complex, possibly complex programming language. So that was the initial reason. But yes, to answer your question, Java is definitely on our radar, because there are so many Java developers around, so many existing libraries that people would like to reuse. So we, we, we want to work on, on providing um, Java, Java support inside Mihini, inside, inside the projects. But yeah, the, the, the main reason we focused on Lua so far was the fact that the, the runtime is much smaller tha than the JVM. So n now that we are pretty happy with the current shape of our Lua uh, story, I would say, we are yeah, next, next on the radar is definitely Java. Mm -hmm. So Mihini is going to be a polyglot framework uh, eventually. Yeah, absolutely. The, the it, it's, it's meant to, to allow different language bindings. We have Lua for now. We, we start having C bindings. And yeah, the idea is really to provide Java is on our radar, and then maybe the community will come up with, with new bindings, and, and that's the idea. What other languages are planned apart from Java? So we had, uh, uh, at, at, at the session earlier today, uh, someone uh, mentioned Python. Python is mm -hmm. definitely something that's, that's that important for Raspberry Pi. Absolutely. Right? In, it, in, the, um, in the makers, uh, DIY uh, communities, people really like Python. So, uh, so maybe next on the list would, would be Python, yes. So what else is on the roadmap? So one thing that we are looking at is um, getting closer to, to standards body, working more with, with, uh, with the people that are standardizing uh, M2M communication protocols. We had this approach where we provided first the, um, some 
concrete implementations are the clips of something that we think is useful, Mihini, Koneki, Pao. They are scrolling developers each, right, basically. So now what we want to do is have these protocols converge with, with standards. We, have, we see that um, our organizations such as uh, Lightweight uh, 1M2M are, are actually working on, on standardizing M2M, so we want to be able to work more closely with them. And one, one thing that we have on the roadmap as well is, as I said, is really to have a, a better Java story. So we, um, this is definitely on our plate for the next couple of months. And also one thing we would like to do is to, to make, to target even more constrained devices. So we will, we will try to work on, on improving Mihini so as we can run on even more constrained devices that we, we do today. Nice. And all this is being done under the roof of Eclipse. Um, Nice t-shirt, by the way, yep. m2m.eclipse.org. Yes, this is the URL for getting more information about all the projects. And we also, by the way, host Sandbox's platform. If you want to play with the technology, you don't have to install a server on your machine. You can use the one that we provide at Eclipse. So this is, uh, this is really a complete, uh, yeah, this is the one-stop shop for, for open source m2m. I nice. Think. Sounds great. Exciting. And um, thanks for being here, Benjamin. Enjoy your last day at Jax. And thanks for watching Jax TV. Have a good day.